right, you guys, it's Smith Hole Cinemas from Dickie's Barbecue Pit uh-huh. in Traverse City. We're not actors, but we play actors on the radio, and we recreate a classic movie scene uh, on the radio version. You got a chance to win a thirty-four ninety-nine classic family value pack to Dickie's Barbecue Pit in Traverse City. Uh, it's the easily the dumbest thing we do, but what? I get. <laughs> Apparently, I get a lot of joy out of the dumb things because, boy, do I have fun doing this damn thing. It is. And people generally are like, oh, that's cool. And I got free food. Win-win. Like, everyone's happy. Yeah. Plus, uh, was it earlier this week or late last week, uh, we saw a story. Whoever that uh, Ivan Reitman's kid, Jason Reitman, did recreated uh, Princess, Princess Bride, Bride with all of these actors via, like, their cell phones. And they just sent them in because everybody's social distance. I'm like, oh. Oh, I wonder where they got that idea from. <laughs> I'm sure that yeah. Hollywood is watching our uh, Smith Hole Cinemas. <laughs> uh, that being said. R.I.P. Carl Reiner. Tim gets to play Steve Buscemi. That's being topical. He looked at me like, why would you bring that up? No, I uh, <laughs> didn't, know how to, didn't know what to say about Carl Reiner. That's all right. You know? A legend. Uh, that being said. I get to be David. Wedding singer. Yeah. Today, uh, you get to be Steve Buscemi. I get to be Adam Sandler, which I don't have an Adam Sandler impression. I'm sorry, guys. It's uh, not happen. <laughs> uh, I am better at Beetlejuice than I am at Adam Sandler. You uh, you nailed the Beetlejuice stuff. That's for sure. Uh, Tim is going to play Steve Buscemi's best man, David. Yeah. I'm Adam Sandler, <laughs> the wedding singer. And uh, whew, is this my first singing? Is this the first singing Smith Hole? Very possible. I'm sorry, guys, but here we go. All right. Wedding singer. You spin me round and round and round. Very nice. Yeah. Good job, lady. You were shaking. Woo! It is going to be fun today. And now the best man's going to come up and say a few words. So let's put our hands together for the groom's brother, David. Um, when my brother Harold asked me to be the best man at his wedding, I was like, well, of course, man, because you've always been there for me. You know, like when I was in rehab, like the time I couldn't find my car, you know, because it's Harold. He, he's always been the dependable one, and I've always been the screwed up one. <laughs> right, Dad? Why can't you be more like your brother? Harold wouldn't. Harold would never beat up his landlord. (laughs) (laughs) But a little newsflash, Pop. Harold ain't so perfect. Remember that time in Puerto Rico when he picked up those two? uh, Well, I guess they were prostitutes, but I'll remember paying. Okay, how about that? Yeah, how about that? I'm a person too, Pop, goddammit. I'm a person too. You're a moron. The The best man, everybody. Yeah, the best man. The better man. Oh! Uh, We've all done crazy things in our lives, so... uh, Oh, look at that. He's playing guitar now. Isn't that great? (laughs) He's doing good, yeah. Sounds good? It's because I'm the best guitar player in the world. Self-taught, <laughs> no lessons. Thank you very much, Pop. All right. They'll be divorced. Oh, very good. Very good. <laughs> I think we all know that when you fall in love, the emptiness kind of drifts away. That's all I'm talking about. I've done some crazy things in my life, too. But, but then I met a very special girl, a girl who I'm actually marrying next week. Thank you. Thank you. So all I'm saying is that when you fall in love, the emptiness drifts away. Because you find something to live for, each other. And the way I've seen you two looking into each other's eyes all day long, I can tell that you're going to live for each other for the rest of your lives. So cheers. (laughs) That's a good wedding singer. Now on behalf of Mr. and Mrs. Harold Veltry, you guys have a nice dinner. George Chitcha is going to take over on lead vocals, so uh, take it away, George. Give me time to realize my crime. Let me love 
and stay. Jesus, scary. I had danced. I like her. Inside your eyes. How can love be real? It's seen. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I'm sorry. It's all involved. I'm sorry to you. I'm sorry yeah. to Dickie's Barbecue Pit in Traverse City. I'm sorry to Black Diamond Broadcasting. I'm sorry to Norman Mike. I'm sorry to... I'm sorry to Doug Bodell. I'm sorry to everybody involved. Do you really want to hurt me? Uh, On the radio version, you would have got a chance to win a 34.99 Classic Family <laughs> Value Pack to take your spark you in Trevor City. On this version, you just listen to Smitty sing and me trying not to like just lose my mind <laughs> while it's occurring, and I got through it. I did it. That is my accomplishment of the week. Oh, I need boy. higher standards. But all right, all right, yeah, we did it. Good standards. <laughs> all right, next Friday. Diggy's Barbecue Pit. I swear, just now I looked at the thing and I didn't think we were recording and I was going to lose my mind in anger. Oh, no. Don't punch any of your equipment. That's expensive. Totally recorded, though. Okay, good.